we'll see. I feel like what's gonna happen if Nigo goes Falcon versus him at all, he's gonna switch to like some side character that you can Yeah. Like last time. I mean, he'll go Joker. Remember that? <laughs> Remember when I was playing? Oh, Nigo's Joker? Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's really weird that to me that he uh, doesn't play Joker as much. He was really excited for uh, Joker since like forever. Yeah. I think he felt like he was splitting up his time between two characters, so then he decided to commit to one. I yeah. think that's what happened, so. Yeah, that's that's what it was. And I mean that's so cool that he like is you know, representing this character. You yeah. still don't see that many shokes and shokes like still an amazing character in his own right, so Yeah. We'll get all the other reps for this character over at Switch Fest, which you all should sign up for yeah. very soon. But yeah, enough plugs. We can get that sword and plug it right into Mario's head. Dude, he keeps getting that shield poke. Like every time he just presses the shield to Ariel and then immediately when they try like go at shield with something, he just gets F smash. Time Mass of Mario. Okay. Goes high on the recovery. It's fine. Goes for the back throw. Let's see how it goes out. No, not quite. He's off stage now. It's a fireball snipe. Waste the flood. Is it going to take this here? Yes. That's a big damage for Nico. Oh, a little bit too slow. There's a spot dodge in the up smash. Yep. Don't you love that? Yeah. When you can, when you can just spot dodge. <laughs> spot dodge canceling is like one of the most tilting things to deal with. Yeah. It was like, damn, I thought I was ready to punish. Apparently not. Oh, jeez, he's getting sliced up. No air slide. Oh, why didn't he cape? Oh, I guess cape wouldn't have killed. I think he would have just got caped towards the ledge. Yeah. Because he was backwards. Yeah. Well, let's see. Still trying to go in, but it looks like he's catching him on that middle aerial drift and he's just using his range to keep him out again. Got to find something, though. Nope, not quite still. Yeah, Nico's very patient at the ledge. It's just something that's so hard to deal with when he's like keeping you there. Yeah, he's just trying to figure out how to get, make his way in. It's not quite happening either, either way. There we go. That's something. Oh, okay. Nice. He still got the fair out in time. Yeah. Even with the shield art, it just sent him kind of like it was hitting him at like zero percent with that fair. Oh, decides to opt for a combo this time around. Didn't quite, I don't think he landed on the platform quite like how he wanted to do extended, but he got the damage anyway, so. Yeah. He's got the corner carry too. Nice to smack that shield. Doing a good job not taking too much pursuit on this dog. Okay. Not the ledge where he wants him. Oh, okay, I think that was supposed to be an up smash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think when people's sensitivity is too high, then uh, <laughs> it, it reads the direction smashes. too early, yeah. yeah. I've seen people do like random turnarounds, but they didn't mean to either because they have sensitivity on high, so. I recommend people turning it back down to low now that we got used to the buffering system. Because I think the only reason most people have it on high is because Mr. R kind of said that one time. Yeah. It's like, hey, doesn't being on high sensitivity kind of make you feel better? <laughs> like, good around Honestly, the buffering system? I thought so, but then, like, after playing between both of them for a while, I couldn't really, like, tell a significant difference, really. Yeah. Well, looks like right now, Master Mario really starting to find a difference in his oh, gameplay, man. already I thought starting to take the lead. Looking to try to close out the stock soon. Oh, he don't think he has a jump though. Never mind, he does. But he's gonna go low, and Nico respects it that time. Oh my goodness, what an air dodge! That would have been a really good force match for Master Mario. Yeah. Stage. As he get back on, okay, just goes low, respects the back air. I think he got poked there. That kind of yeah. sucks. <laughs> he can angle his shield up. Oh, I saw the air slash try to come out, but Master Mario goes in for the grab first. Such a close last dog between these two. Nice, forces him to shield the fireball from throw him off stage. Switch the shield, will stay alive as long as possible here. Oh, non range to get that shield grab off the up smash. Yeah, he's gonna have to wait a little bit before he can go back into shield art, so he's still in a dangerous present. Oh, Whoa, he just oh. went for it on the front hit of up smash, too. Wow, with good roll punish. Master Mario taking first game. Looking really good. Let's keep going. Yeah. That was uh, very close. Yeah. Too close to call. Like. Yeah. It, it throws down to like the last mistake wins mm. at that point. Yeah. I can't remember. Did it, it went to game five, right? 
Yes, they went to game five last yep. time. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel uh, another game five coming here. You guys are pretty much going back and forth at this point. Yeah. Unless and Master Mario finds the last hit last stock three times in a row, then that could potentially happen too. Yeah. But we'll see. Especially since, you know, Nico's is running it back to PS2 each time. Yeah. I feel like a lot of these players are very close in, like, skill level between each other. It's just a matter of clutch factor on the last stock. Because a lot of times people are always on last stock situations. They're just not quite able to find it, like, to seal out the set, you know? Yeah. It's very true. Wow, good carry on the back there. Okay. He doesn't get the up he's looking for. Let's see. Okay, goes back to the stage. I think he's dead. Yep. Man. Not, that was like legit nothing he could have done. Yeah, there. he actually stalled for like as long as he possibly could to avoid that too. I think he was trying to go for these low percent grabs, but uh, he keeps getting spot dodge punished. Yeah. Don't say. Jumps back around. That Nair covers it. Goes back low. Be able to come back around. Yeah, Nico hasn't been able to punish Roll from ledge yet, but he's not necessarily like, he's not punishing it, but he's still keeping him in the corner of the stage, regardless. Nice up tilt on the landing. Oh, and calls out the jump in the jump art, which lets him reach all the way to the top of the blast, so pretty much. Right. That was really good for Nico. Yeah, very nice stuff. Nico yeah, gets it back here. Man, even if he parries that back there, max range, you can't really do anything to punch him. Yeah, gives me flashbacks to Cloud back there, back in the day, when that was a good move. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a really good move, I think. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's just not its former glory, you know? It's not, yeah. it, it went from broken to dealable. Yeah. All right, back throw that. Shouldn't be able to do it, yeah. No, nope, oh, they're living. Yeah. I'm a liar, everybody. Dang, yeah, Nico's uh, having some pretty amazing DI at this moment. Yep, all right, fourth throw him off. Oh my goodness, the shield art lasted just long enough to live that. Now we're at 200%. So many things will kill. Okay, there's the back there. Oh, I was wondering, like, what he was going to get this kill right there. Still, Nico in a pretty decent spot. Whole stock up. How does he get in, though? That's a big question. It looks like every time... At least for this match, it looks like Master Mario hasn't been able to navigate around the, the sword hitbox. This makes it so difficult to get around. Yep. Mario has always struggled against sword characters. Just because he like, doesn't have the best range. And he's a character that really gets a ward off a grab. But you can't get a grab, what are you going to do? And there's the forced low recovery again. Pretty much all Nico has to do is just jump down there and like threaten that he might four air or air slash. And that just makes you scary enough to stall your up beat. Yeah. So Master Mario not quite able to make it back from that. Either way, he was dead. If yeah. he did it earlier, then he would have got hit by Air Slash. Yep. And he did it later, he didn't make it back. So that was just uh, lose lose right there. So might as well move on to our third game here. I think we're doing the same stage again because why not? Yeah, I, I don't know. We should count how many times people play a PS2 at each tournament. I'd say at least 67%. Two thirds of their matches are all on PS2. And then the other third is Town and City. <laughs> it's like almost guaranteed every single match will have one game at least on PS2. If everyone starts with PS2. Yeah. It's Except crazy. me. I always ban PS2. Just to see what the other person wants to see. Smart thing to do. Yeah. Too bad I don't play <laughs> in brackets these days. Anyways, here we go. Two air dodges trying to make it back to the stage without using his jump, but that costs a lot of damage. Yeah. It's a good trade for Nico. Oh, free punisher? Oh, he went to the platform. That was really smart. Uh oh. Man, Getting oh, sliced man. up by all the Buster forward airs. Yeah. And then, man, Smash Hard Air Slash immediately caught him out of shield. Now Nico working with the stock lead already. I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't like the, the run back to PS2 here for Master Mario. I think it's fine. I, I don't really think the stage is the problem. I think just Nico's so good at utilizing his hitboxes to make Master Mario's life a living hell right here. I think that's a really, really the main issue. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, the flood still couldn't push him off far enough. Yeah, that really sucks. Yeah. Uh, that was the right idea from Master Mario. Just not quite executed. Alright, let's see if Master Mario can get some low percentage combos going in. It's been really difficult to touch Nico uh, with the threat of his sword at every turn. Oh, catches the air dodge. He's so good on the waiting. He knows the defensive option Master Mario wants to. He's not, he's not going in super hard or aggressive uh, because of it. Oh. And so he's able to utilize and get like a better option because he's waiting instead. Nice. Still gets a pretty hard punish on the shield art switch. Yeah. I like that the little fall down into up tilt. That was really smart actually. Oh man, he's you know, in such a scary spot. He's waiting in the corner with Shulk. Alright, he uses the flood to get some stage control, but he still gets flying away. He tries to board him, the threat of him jumping out there, but it's really Still a good spot for Nico here. Okay. okay. All right, Dalto comes out. I like the forest from Master Mario. Just made me feel a little bit scared to trade <laughs> off stage. So there it is, eating it up. That was a really good stock trade from Master Mario. If you know you're gonna die there, just like get the forward air out. Yeah. Too. I feel like I feel like Nico was like he wouldn't do. Fair off stage for like the fifth time, right? No, no, you were wrong. We got an even game here. Goes off stage, Master Mario MC can keep him pressured here, but Nico finds his way back to the stage again. I like that delayed air dodge from Master Mario that time, just mixing it up because he's been preemptively doing defensive options and Nico's been waiting for them. So and in turn, he waits even longer, and so Nico doesn't get a punish out of it instead. Man, space is so good right now for Nico. It's really difficult for Mario to do with this player. Yeah, I mean, he's playing the matchup exactly how you should. And now we got the oh, up tilt. That finally does it. Finally punishes it. Finally yeah. punishes a roll from ledge. Smash our up tilt. Now Nico up 2-1. Yeah, we'll see. Mm. Master Mario looks kind of lost right now in his face. I can, I can feel it. Then again, I'm uh, I'm very bad at reading facial features, so <laughs> <laughs> that's just my guess. I don't know. I I just don't agree with running into PS2 every time. Like, I don't like. It's not that like the stage is like super bad or anything, but just the fact that the comfortability from his opponent and he's like already winning. Yeah. Like, at least like throw. It, a wrench at him some way, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, don't remember, know. I remember Master Mario saying that when he switches costumes, he switches play styles along with them. I don't know if that was just a double mind game he's trying to play right now, but uh, he, he did switch to the, the wedding Mario, so. I wonder what type of play style switch is going to allow him to get past these uh, swords from Shulk. Not very sure. Oh, oh my god. Nico shut it down so many of his landing options there. Okay. That's so good. I'm not gonna lie. I think that was Master Mario's fault, only because it looked like he was trying to hold in the whole time. And oh he yeah. Just kinda got, he just got blown up for it there. Still, that was a really good idea for Nico yeah. to punish after he's hitting out of his jumps. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Nico goes a little bit too crazy off stage. Yeah. Pressing a little few too many buttons there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy when Nico can SD, and I still feel like he's like winning like he's playing really good yeah i mean yes he had a pretty good time i mean he like had a lot of percent on him already so it's not really the end of the world on that sd smash art air slash oh he went to rough tilt instead right idea of both of them for an anti-air but not quite yeah, it would have definitely killed one swing Oh my goodness, I thought he was gonna get a footstool. Oh, no oh. invincibility anymore. Yeah. He got ledge trunks, didn't make it back to the stage, up air, grab the ledge again, and he just got 40 because that hits him at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see that. There's a chance for Master Mario to try and bring this back. If he can close out the stock now, then he can potentially bring it to game 5, but we'll have to see. Nico's not making it easy at all. It's just yeah. Really, he's building on his lead with every hit. All right, let's see. Oh my god, like how he does that in there. It's so hard to punish that. It's so safe. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, reverse the re there. Yeah, the reverse in there is so good for sure. 
Damn, maybe I should play Shulk instead of like Kingling or whatever. I think <laughs> I think this is the new club. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know about new club, but definitely has some really safe areas <laughs> you can uh, throw out, especially with Kelly Mario. Right. Oh my God, the fade back F smash. We're living just barely though. Can you get past the smasher at the ledge? I think I was just waiting for him to roll. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, he's yeah, just roll. Mm -hmm. Just he's roll like, into hey, my You've already lost, young one. <laughs> okay, free fighters. You can Master Mario capitalize here. Oh, he overextends a little bit. Now he's in the air. Check on the platform. In the worst position versus Choke right now. He's trying to make something happen. I feel like Smash Art is probably available again very soon. Yeah, that's the scary part. You can either switch the shield to interrupt your low percent combo, and now you can go into Smash. Damn, he should just grab him next time at the ledge. It looks like Master is very scared. Oh, oh my, my god. Goodness. Wow. Um, so, so that killed. Yeah, Nair kills eventually, especially in Smash Art. But <laughs> the thing about Smash Art 2 is that he goes farther. Uh, he takes more knockback, so it also messed up his uh, low percentage drink.